Hydra's goons are getting a little too comfortable for my liking. I think it's time you took them down a notch. I was expecting a challenge. Centuries assistance. we can. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like you've got another problem on your hands. One of the fallen. Take them out. I will be keeping my organ meat, thank you very much.
There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. That was something. Mother tells us to hurry! Stop talking. Pathetic. I just don't know when to quit. Is it the alien or the man that causes it to talk like that? It is unsettling. have to do better than that. The light will carry you onward. The advantage is mine. Something for victory. Hardly a scratch. Coming back to me. Look how fragile you are. Hard to follow its movements. Persistence is irritating. Possibly match your strength. Engaging target. You have to be embarrassed by your weakness.
Arm D, B team, third string. Soon we eat. I smell fresh meat. Oh, remind me to dodge next time. I'm built up for spawning. I should get you on it. The light is getting dim. Done, did you? Oh, the light's gift. The advantage is mine. Does someone feel a breeze. had your chance to escape. Philip herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? Left the residue. You're gonna pay for that slime ball. Okay, you're back. My respect for Spider Man grows every time I am forced to look into this creature's drooling maw.
Let us see if they have an answer for this. Requesting medevac. Slow me down. Useless. I will aid you if I can. Hold for backup. We may need to shift our tactics. Up for this? your brain. It will tell me where to find Spider-Man.
Your time has come. I see not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Too weak for this fight. As ordered. This was supposed to be a routine operation. attracted some unwanted attention from the Fallen. Just what we needed. Take them out! Looking mean as ever, Eddie. Maybe even a little meaner. So many fear your strength. Now that was something.
respect for Spider-Man grows every time I am forced to look into this creature's drooling maw. Do not touch us! They cannot possibly match your strength. You will regret ever facing me. Stronger than its fists is its breath. I think that's gonna leave a mark. I can't take much more of this. might not make it back from this one. Just give up now.
Hold the light. Hold the light gift. Welcome assistance. Mercy for the servants of Hillen. You know, you're pretty good at this. Ooh, I like it. Vu, Eddie? I feel like we do this a lot. Not a problem. No mercy for the servants of Willem. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. on me. Targeting systems active. They are being reinforced. A pathetic attempt at intimidation. The light is on our side. The advantage is mine.
glad you got my back. your chance to escape. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. know my reputation. <laughs> I have felt this once before. Walk in the light. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Some for the rest of us. The advantage is mine. I'm going to get you for this. What good are you? some help here. like that once, centuries ago.
human need. One for us. I'm that was something. Mother tells us to hurry.
I'm actually stuck. Damn. Must adapt to the situation, or risk losing it all. The light will carry you onward. Let us see if they have an answer for this. You are lucky to still be breathing. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see, that you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? To have friends do that for me, it is a wonderful thought. Truly, having friends at all is a welcome change from my youth. <sighs> no kidding. It's hard to make friends when you're on the run. Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. Why the surprise? Why not a normal? I heard. 
That is all I had. I'm good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And so you actually slept in that thing. That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Ah, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically-powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please, stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and Pete? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this spider-verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragonmen, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field-trip-gone-wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told May Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? get bit by a radioactive hunter or something?
My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cthon. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? I learned to stop counting the years long ago. I much prefer to count the number of Lilin fallen by my hand. Yeesh. You must have some interesting birthday parties. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? Lilith made her choice long ago, though it pains me to say this. She is no longer my mother, but another monster to slay. That's a hard way to look at it. When I see Venom, all I can see is Eddie. And the symbiote that saved my life on a few occasions. Perhaps that is what Lilith is counting on. Look, I get it. The monster that looks like your friend is still a monster. I watch plenty of zombie movies, okay? Still doesn't mean you have to become that which you were hunting, if you ask me. I knew that philosophy minor was gonna pay off! Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was... eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through! Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. New York's been through a lot, but we're a tough city. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Can't hurt to warm up on Hydra's flunkies. You've got an endless supply of practice dummies to beat on. I should be training. You need to go? No. 
I'm just not the kind of person who takes a lot of breaks. If you never rest, you will never recover. Yeah, I know. Muscles don't get thicker if you work them every day. But if I'm not training, I'll lose my edge. A guy named Blade is worried about losing his edge? Shut up. And you're the third person to tell me that, so don't look so impressed. There better be a next time. Don't tell anyone, but I forgot what the mission objective was. But I'm sure glad it seems like we accomplished it. Hello. Hi, kiddo. Calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider knee or two since I started this thing. 
Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Thanks, Hunter. I needed some R&R. &R. I usually don't do pool parties. Hunter, got a question for you. Oh, my friend sense is tingling. Hey, can I ask a favor? You know, the Avengers might do things a little differently. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? When facing a demon, aim for the heart. Always do. And why are you talking to me when you should really be talking to them? Or at least her? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? Face the truth as bravely as you would your enemy, Blade. Your admiration for her reaches far beyond the battlefield. You're delusional, Hunter. And for the first time since we have met, I believe you are actually afraid, Blade. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Sometimes I think the Avengers look at us and see the enemy. <laughs> and I thought I had trust issues. A moment, Hunter. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument?
You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her. But she seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later. So like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. Caretaker sees herself as the matriarch of this team, and as a maternal figure, she tends to be protective of her own. Ugh, seriously, Hunter? Are you suggesting she's just being overprotective of me? Or just protective. Gah, you know what? Never mind. I came out here to thank you for putting your trust in me, and I'm determined to keep it positive. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. Successful collaboration. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Take your pick, Hunter. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably.
See you, Hunter. Always on the hunt, right? If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Time's wasting, Hunter. Good addition. Now let's get to work. What's up, Big H? Hunter, just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. 
Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I am always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. Hunter! Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course! Let's go! Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. Alright! What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh! I got this! I'll find something unforgettable. Hunter, 